Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, back with another episode of Talking Trident, where we answer your questions right here on our channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be covering which line weight is best for trout spay, a three weight or a four weight, and really how to choose a line weight for trout spay in general. Stay tuned. So if you're sitting there watching and wondering what the heck is trout spay, we've got other videos for that and you should definitely check out those videos first. This one's gonna be a little bit more in depth and get a little technical, but here goes. If you're coming over from the single hand world, you're probably very familiar with line weight. We've all bought a nine foot five weight or a nine foot eight weight, or if you're like me, you've got pretty much all of the line weights. But in trout spay and spay in general, line weights don't mean the same thing that they do in the single hand world. In fact, especially in trout spay, they seem to have little meaning overall. So my first piece of advice is to stop thinking about line weight at all. And instead, think about the grain weight that you're gonna be throwing on these rods. And why should you do that, you might be asking yourself? Well, take two examples. One would be an OPST micro skagit five weight. For that rod, OPST recommends a 250 grain skagit. And remember that that's gonna be a five weight. On the other hand, Sage makes an 11 foot three weight, this one right here in their Trout Spay HD line that they recommend a 300 grain line for. So you've got a three weight at 300 grains, solidly heavier than a five weight from another brand. It makes absolutely no sense. So just stop thinking about line weight, start thinking grain weights, and your life will be made a lot easier. And now before we get into specific grain weights, there are two other factors that are worth considering. The first is how good of a caster you are. If you're a great, highly proficient caster, you're gonna be able to cast more weight on fewer grains than a beginner. The other thing to consider is the head that you're gonna be throwing. A shorter, heavier Skagit head like this OPST, it's gonna throw a lot more weight for the same number of grains than this longer belly Rio Trout Spay. Of course, this Trout Spay is also gonna have that more delicate presentation and be better for throwing things on the surface. But primarily today, we're gonna to be talking about what kind of flies you can throw for what grain weight. And it's important to note, if you choose a longer bellied, lighter, finer tapered line, you're not gonna be able to throw as much. Now let's dive into it. Starting with 200 grains or less, which typically qualifies as a two weight or a three weight or less for most manufacturers, you're gonna be able to throw very, very lightly weighted streamers and pretty much any soft tackle. This is gonna be a great tool for small flies. If you wanna try something crazy like throwing a dry fly in your trout spay, you're gonna be able to do that with these 200 grain or less rods you're not really gonna be able to throw weighted streamers of any kind, but definitely not anything very large. If you're a good caster, feather wings will be fine, maybe even that occasional beadhead woolly bugger, but primarily these are gonna be for unweighted or very, very lightly weighted flies. Taking the next step up to 250 to 300 grains, sort of your three to four weight size for trout spay. This is where you're gonna get into sort of the meat and potatoes of trout spay, in my opinion. You're gonna be able to throw, of course, those soft tackles and light streamers, but you're also gonna be able to up that to kind of moderately weighted streamers. And that's gonna be your bead heads, anything that's really not that heavy or that big, so it doesn't get fully waterlogged, You'll be able to throw that with 250 to 300 grains if you're a proficient caster. Don't go trying to throw a big giant Dalai Lama on there because it's gonna be really hard and very clunky. Now, bump it up to a 350 plus grain weight and that's gonna be your typical sort of five weight trout spay. And this is where you're gonna be able to throw pretty much everything. It's gonna be perfect for Alaskan Dalai Lamas as long as they're the smaller cone head size and most of your sort of articulated streamers and bigger stuff. Of course, you're still gonna have some limits there. 350 grains for a spay rod is still not a ton. You're not gonna be able to throw giant intruders and things like that. But by and large, if you're gonna to wanna to throw it to a trout that's not a steelhead, that's not a salmon, you're probably gonna be able to do that with that five weight. And of course, you are gonna give up that extra bit of fun and lightweight feel that you would with some of those lighter rods. 
Now, before we close out this video, I did want to mention length briefly. And really, the longer your trout spay rod, the more weight you're going to be able to throw with that streamer. So if you're comparing a 10 foot three weight to an 11 foot three weight, that 11 foot three weight is going to give you more ability to throw heavier streamers than the 10 footer. Tell us which grain weight you're using for your trout spay rod by leaving us a comment in the box below. And don't forget, please, please send us your questions for our next episode of Talking Trident. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.